Hey Salam, I hope you guys do well. I'm Ultra Fist back for another video and this time I'm making grilled fish. I'm gonna serve this grilled fish with crispy potato cakes and a creamy fish sauce. This is one of the best grilled fish that you're gonna try. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with the fish. I'm using here a sea bass and a sea bream. Grab a pair of scissors, we're gonna get rid of these excess fins. Now you could use any type of white flesh fish, cod, haddock, it's really up to you. Get rid of this as well from the end. Just look at that subhanallah, so beautiful. I'm afraid we have to cut these off. These two as well at the bottom. Apologies, my scissors are not sharp enough. Right, so this is what you're left with. Now if you want, you could just cut off the head, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is. They've already been cleaned from inside, so I don't have to worry about that. Or right, same with this one, we're gonna remove all the fins. Now add a few cuts to the fish so we can really penetrate those spices into the fish. Now these look great, add a good pinch of salt on both sides of the fish. Both of these fishes have amazing flavors and you guys are gonna really enjoy it. And finally you wanna squeeze in juice of a lemon, try to cover from all sides. And of course massage it from the inside as well. And let the fish rest for at least 15 to 20 minutes while we make our marinade. For the fish marinade in with the fresh garlic cloves. And with the zest of fresh lemon, get all the citrus flavor in there. And with the flesh of whole lemon without the skin. Make sure to get rid of all the seeds. And with the toasted black peppercorns, coriander seeds. And with the allspice, smoked sweet paprika. And with the cayenne pepper, you could also use red chili flakes. And with the lemon pepper seasoning, a good touch of sea salt. And with the dill, touch of water so we can properly blend this. And finally finish it off with a good touch of oil. Now you want to cover and blend this until nice and smooth. Alright guys, let's take a look. Have a little taste and adjust any seasoning if you need to. Mmm, that's perfect. Our delicious fish marinade. Done. Alright, let's marinate our fish. So remove the fish into this bowl. Get rid of any excess liquid if there is any. Add your marinade onto there and feel free to save some for later use. Now right, it's time to get your hands dirty. And stuff those skirts with the marinade, alright? Should have used a bigger bowl. My fish keeps sliding out. <laughs> Trust me, this is one of the best grilled fish that you're gonna try. Your mouth is gonna be absolutely watering. Now if you got some time, leave this to marinate for at least an hour. Let the fish absorb all the flavors. And now for the potato cakes, I'm using Mary's Piper. You wanna peel off the skin and cut them into equal sizes so they will cook evenly. Now remove the excess starch and boil them in stock until nice and soft. In another pan you wanna melt some butter. With the cream, so this milk, I'm going to infuse this with garlic, rosemary, and thyme. Finally, some of these whole black peppercorns and a tiny pinch of salt. Mix and let this cook for a few minutes. Here with the boiled potatoes, make sure to completely dry them off and drain the excess water. Give them a good mash. If you got a potato ricer, then pass it through that. Now, for extra creamy potatoes, we're gonna pass them through a sieve. Here with our butter, cream, and milk, slowly fold that in. Finally chop some of the parsley and that goes straight in. And with the extra mature cheddar, you could also use parmesan for more flavor. I'm gonna season this with red chili flakes, a good touch of freshly grown black pepper, and salt. Now give that a really good mix and bring everything together. Look how nice and smooth that is. Perfect. Now have a little taste and adjust any seasoning if you need to. And right, now we're gonna start turning these into potato cakes. Grab yourself a tray which is aligned with greaseproof paper. Grab some of the mixture in your hands and you wanna start rolling these into potato cakes. So something like that you're looking for. Nice and easy. Start placing them here. So the mixture is around handful if you can see. If anything is sticking to your hand, what you can do is you can use a bit of the water. Now if you're looking for a perfect round shape, you can use a tool similar to this. And right, these look great. I'm gonna let these chill in the fridge for 15 minutes. Trust me, these are one of the best potato cakes that you're gonna try. Now for the dredge, grab three balls, add flour into one ball, panko normal breadcrumbs, cracking eggs in the other ball. Add some water, season everything with a good pinch of salt and pepper. Give the eggs a good whisk. And probably mix the crumbs and the flour. Turn up the heat to around medium high, in with the oil. And you want to bring the oil temperature to around 170 Celsius. Or let's start coating, grab your potato patties. Make sure to remove the patties at least 20 minutes before you start cooking them. First of all, these goes into the plain flour. Coat that properly. Remove that into the egg mixture. Again, you want to coat this properly from both sides. Cover all the edges. Now this goes into the panko breadcrumbs. Give that a good mix with your dry hand. And shake off the excess. 
And this is exactly what you're looking for. Now this goes straight into the hot oil. Slowly load them in always away from you. Bismillah. We're gonna let these fry for a few minutes on both sides until we have a nice golden brown color. So it's been around a minute and a half. I'm just gonna turn these slowly. Bismillah. Look at that beautiful color. We've got a nice crisp on that. And make sure to baste it with hot oil just so we can get an even color. I'm gonna drain off the excess oil and remove it on a rack. Season with a pinch of salt while they're still hot. Our delicious crispy potato cakes. Done. Now let's cook our fresh grubby oven tray and place your grilling rack onto there. Spray with a light touch of oil just to ensure nothing sticks to it. Now place your fish onto there. Add the leftover marinade onto there as well. Just a light touch of seasoning again, a bit of the black pepper, salt. And finally you want to spray with a light touch of oil. And finally I'm just going to add a touch of water to catch all the juices from the fish. We're going to use these juices in our sauce later. Oh, now this goes into a preheated oven grill at 200 celsius for around 10 minutes on each side. Make sure to place it at the second rack which is just above the middle. And while it's in the oven grill you will continue to brush it with some more marinade just to keep it nice and juicy. And I carefully turn the fish around. I add the leftover marinade onto there. Some of the seasoning and oil again. And this goes back into the oven grill for another 10 minutes. Now for the sauce, turn up the heat to a medium. Here with the fish stock that has been infused with some bay leaves and some of the dill stems. Here with the juice of half a lemon. Season with a good touch of black pepper. Pinch of salt. Some of this Cajun seasoning. Dill. Now add the leftover juices from your fish and bring this to simmer. Alright, once it starts to simmer, I'm just gonna get rid of these bay leaves and these dill stems. And I'm gonna add in some of this double cream. Now give that a really good mix and just bring it to gentle simmer. Have a little taste and adjust any seasoning if you need to. Mmm, so delicious. Our creamy fish sauce, done. Our guests have a mouth watching grilled fish is done. Trust me, you're really gonna enjoy this grilled fish. For the dill oil, first of all, you wanna pick up the dill leaves. Now if you want, you could mix in some of the parsley into that. Transfer the dill leaves into a blender. You also wanna throw in sunflower vegetable oil. Now cover and blend this for around five to six minutes until the oil temperature has reached at least 55 Celsius. Once blended, pass it through a sieve that is aligned with kitchen paper so we can properly clarify it. This will take a while to filter through, so just set aside for now. Our amazing dill oil, done. This will be perfect for garnishing and it will go great with any fish dishes or sauces. Alright guys, let's plate this up, add your fish onto there, serving it with these delicious potato cakes. Some of this creamy fish sauce, leftover marinade that has been cooked down. You can garnish it with some of the lemon wedges, fresh dill or parsley. Add some of your sauce onto there, and some of this dill oil as well. Now that looks mouth watering. Alright guys, I'm gonna try this, it looks amazing. Let's add some of the creamy fish sauce on the top. Alright, first I'm gonna try some of this potato cake with the sauce. Let's get into it. Bismillah. Wow. Mm. The sauce is so creamy, has a bit of zest to it. It is so, so delicious, so irresistible and much better than restaurant. Nice and crispy potato cakes, perfectly cooked, so much flavor into them. You can taste that, a bit of the stock in there and this has to be one of the best sauce out there. Alright, let's try our fish now, look at that. Bismillah. Wow. It just falls off the bone, it is mouth watering. The fish has so much flavor, it's perfectly marinated and cooked to perfection under the grill. Let's try some of the fish along with the potato cakes. That is just so delicious. You can even serve this fish with a bit of the rice. They will go perfectly with it. Can we please get this video to 5,000 likes? I would really appreciate it. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, make sure you like, and shall I see you next time. Until then, salam. Make for your mom. 
Make for your dad. Make for your family. Enjoy.